Hello and welcome to this video on multiplying decimals. Now the key here is to just basically treat these as whole numbers and then we're going to adjust after by looking where the decimal point is. So let's just say we're doing the first question 3.72 times 5. Well we just treat that as a whole number for the moment. We ignore that decimal point and we just do 372 multiplied by 5 using long multiplication. So we do the usual thing 2 times 5 is equal to 10 so we put 0 carry the 1, 7 times 5 is 30, but plus the 1 is 36, so put the 6 there, carry the 3, and 3 times 5 is 15, plus the 3 is 18. So we know that 372 times 5 is equal to 1860, but this is the point where we now have to consider where the decimal point is. The decimal point at the moment is effectively after the units digit, it's like 372.00, etc. But we actually had 3.72, so we can see the decimal point we need to move to to the left. But that means in this result, the decimal point was here, it moves to to the left. And that means we must have 18.6 as the answer. And we, don't, we can ignore that zero on the end. We don't need the zero on the end. And let's always check by approximation that it sounds sensible. Well, 3.72 is roughly 4. 4 times 5 is 20, and that is indeed roughly 20. What about the second one? 4.5 times 3.7. We do exactly the same as before. So we ignore the decimal points and just multiply them as if they were whole numbers. So we do long multiplication again. We do each thing times the 7 first. So 5 times 7 is 35. 5 carry the 3. 4 times 7 is 28, plus the 3 is 31. And now we're doing 45 times by 30. Now because we're timesing by 30, we're going to have a 0 at the end, and then we can times 45 by 3 instead. So 5 times 3 is 15, put the 5, carry the 1. And then 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 1 is 13. And then we add those together. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 1 plus 5 is 6. 3 plus 3 is 6, and by the way, remember we ignore these carriers from before because they were part of the multiplication, and then we just got that 1. So we know that 45 multiplied by 37 is 1,665, but we had a decimal point here and a decimal point here. So instead of 45, we want 4.5, so the decimal point is moving 1 to the left, and here the decimal point moved 1 to the left to get to 3.7. Now in total, the decimal point has moved twice. So that means from the end here, we've also got to move twice, once, twice, and that means we're gonna have 16.65. And again, just do a common sense check. This is roughly five, this is roughly four, five times four is 20, and that's sort of around about 20. So it sounds like we've got the right kind of number. What about three? 0.3 times 0.2. Again, we do the usual thing, we just do three times two, is obviously equal to six, but the decimal point has moved once here from three and once here from two. So that means the decimal point has to move, has to move and twice. So it's now gonna be here and we need to put some zeros in, don't we? So there's a zero here and a zero here. So we've got 0 0.06. Whereas this one, we've got 0 0.3 multiplied by two. Well, we just do three times two in the normal way again, which is six. And then, well, the decimal point has only moved once this time. It didn't move here. We did actually use the two. So therefore the decimal point only has to move once and we get 0 0.6 as our answer. And then finally, this one here, we've got lots of decimal point movement. We're doing 0 0.06 multiplied by 0 0.0057. So we do the usual thing, we're going to do 6 times 57. I always like to start with a number that has more digits, so I'm going to do 57 multiplied by 6. So 7 times 6 is 42, put the 2 there, carry the 4. 5 times 6 is 30, plus the 4 is 34. Now let's count how many times the decimal point moved. So now we originally had 57, so it moved 1, 2, 3, 4 times from the end, and here it moved once twice. So that means the decimal point in this result has to move in total 4 plus 2 which is 6 times. So let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, and now the decimal point is here, we need to fill in the zero, so zero here, zero here, zero here, zero here, and we can see that our answer is 0 0.00042.